Joining us now is Stella Bowles, and she has done work on the LaHave River Cleanup Project, um, and you have quite a catchy title for it. Why don't we start with that? Yeah, so I named my project, Oh Poop, It's Worse Than I Thought. And it Say that again. Oh Poop, It's Worse Than I Thought. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> Tell me about your project. Yeah, so my grade six science fair project, all grade sixes in Nova Scotia have to have a science fair project. So mine was testing the LaHave River for fecal bacteria. And it started because I wanted to swim in the river, but my mom always said, you know, no, it's dirty, you can't do that. But we live right along the river, and I see it every day I drive along. My mom drives me to school, my dad, and I see the river every day, and I just wanted to jump right in, but my mom always told me, no, it's dirty, you can't swim. So when we did the testing, and I got my results back, and realized you can't get the water in contact with your skin, it's so disgusting and contaminated, that I wanted to tell the community that it's not safe because the government wasn't saying anything. What can we learn from that and from what you did moving forward? I definitely think that youth have a voice. I asked my mom for a Facebook page when I was 11 to tell the community that the river's dirty and it's not safe. And my mom said no. So we compromised and we put up a big sign in front of our home right along our busy highway and it said this river's contaminated with fecal bacteria. And after that we had the media at the door asking us why do you have this sign? Why, why is that there? And then after we had people contacting us, mom decided that we could have a Facebook page and let the community know that it's not safe to swim in the river. And after that, it went kind of worldwide. And it was an issue that a lot of people talked about really fast. And there's actually 15.7 million Canadian dollars to clean up our river now. Amazing. And you did win an award for this, we should mention. Um, and this sets the example and the stage for young scientists. So what advice would you give them, given that you were asking the question, why? I definitely encourage youth or young adults to ask a lot of questions because so much can happen from questioning. I also encourage people to find mentors because I found a mentor down the road, Dr. David Maxwell. He helped me test the water. He showed me how to do it and he gave me so many good pointers and tips for life and really that's how we have to go about life now and find people that can help us answer our questions. Have you seen changes, positive changes since your study? Yeah, so along the LaHaye River, people have straight pipes. So it's a pipe from a home's toilet directly into the water. And there's no filtration, so anything you flush is going directly into the water. There are 600 along the LaHaye River, but now with this project, with $15.7 million Canadian, these pipes are going to be removed and replaced with septic systems. So there have been about 150 replaced out of the 600. And by 2023, it should be straight pipe free, the LaHaye. I have a feeling your work doesn't stop here. What are you doing now? I've actually been to Sweden and I've trained youth there to test their own waterway because the way I did my testing, I did it right in my kitchen. I grow fecal bacteria in my basement. So I was showing youth not only in Nova Scotia but in Sweden that science can be fun, it can be hands-on learning. And they found out over there that it's also an issue that fecal contamination is in their water as well. And Stella, I know you've won so many awards for your work. Why don't you talk about some of the highlights for you? I definitely think the biggest award I won was the Meritorious Service Medal from the Governor General of Canada. It's from Julie Payette. She was an astronaut. She's been in outer space. And I can now sign my name Stella Bowles MSM, which I like to use in my papers at school because <laughs> I'm only 15 and that's it's kind of fun for my teachers <laughs> to see. Well, thank you for asking the question why and following up and also doing our interview with us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.